20 is now as our assault with Cal. A very recent. And this would have been a very familiar sight to Longton. Lieutenant Morgan built two seater in February 1918 to enable conversion onto the Camel in much safer circumstances. It's one of the features of the, uh, the First World War to bear in mind that uh, something like half of the Royal Flying Corps casualties were actually incurred in training, about 8,000 out of the 16,000. So flying training was a much more hit and miss affair in those days and uh, young pilots had to work extremely hard to become proficient. The third aircraft that's joined it is effectively the, the Spitfire of the First World War, it's the SE-5A. What a sight. Couple in the Science Museum if you want to go and look at one. with the end of hostilities, the requirement for fighting machines and the cost of fighting machines had to be mitigated and so an awful lot of aircraft, although perfectly serviceable, were discharged to save money. That's uh, handled down very safely and very nicely. Uh, refurbished by the uh, Royal Aircraft Establishment and moved here in 1960, or the early 1960s. But it is the aircraft that flew very well, it had all the appropriate controls and uh, devices. 